Good afternoon and welcome back to the Colleen and Bradley show. That was Holly. I'm the Bradley. Colleen will be back on Monday. It's time for Cheat Day. Okay. Dirty, rotten cheetah. Cheat Day taste test. Mm, yummy, yummy, yeah. yummy. We're going to have something in our tummies. And today it's brought to us by a listener. So our listener, Panda, pew, Hi, pew, Panda. <laughs> sent us a treat box. And I thought we should dip into the treat box for at least one of the things today. Um, and I saved something else that was in that treat box. First of all, Panda, thank you. And dear listeners, you are welcome to send us treats whenever you want. If you want the address, just let me know. And I will get you where to send your treat day samples. Anyway, uh, so Panda sent a number of things. Thank you. Um, we are going to try one of those things, but I saved one so that we could try when Colleen gets back as well. And I think it's the one she wants to try. So, yeah. But today for cheat day uh, and Holly, tell people what cheat day is. Cheat day is where we put things that are normally not on our diets, in our mouths, in our pie holes, things that are delicious most of the time. And today's cheat day experience comes to us from Velva, North Dakota. Oh, nice. Slightly sweet, a little salty, a subtle tang. You could probably say that about us. Yeah. We're so what are we? Sweet. So what are we putting in our mouths? Brad? Dots, homestyle pretzels. But wait for it, honey mustard seasoned pretzel twist. Oh boy, we're through the looking glass here. So I don't know how you feel about dots pretzels. Are you a dots person? Very much so. Me too. They're incredible, and they keep getting better. Here's what I mean by that. So the pretzels are great. Yeah. Then they have like a Southwest pretzel experience. Those are great. I mean, I I, I just like the plain. And they're anything but plain, but the the original original mm -hmm. dots pretzel home style experience. And then I don't know if have you ever had the cheese curls? What? The dots mm -hmm. cheese curls are life changing. I didn't even know those I were. I have a, thing. a bag in my pantry, and I I have a handful whenever I'm feeling like I need to be naughty. They are so amazing. And so if you love cheese curls anyway, uh, so, but today they have something else I have yet to try. And I know you haven't tried it. The dots, home style pretzels, honey mustard seasoning. And I, I will tell you, I am not a huge honey mustard person. What do you, what, how do you feel? Uh, I feel decidedly neutral about honey mustard. That's one of those things that as I've gotten older, okay, Brad is literally huffing, huffing. the bag <laughs> of honey mustard seasoning. It's Okay. I'm not going to reach for honey. I would not re have reached for these bags on the shelf. So, is, that, so that in and of itself, I suppose, says my stance on honey mustard. I will eat it if it's in front of me. Well, this is why I'm excited because I feel like Dots would know what to do with honey mustard. Right? Like right. there's a chance we might actually love this in a way that I don't typically run towards honey mustard. Well, this is exciting. Right. So now we have to run towards the pretzels and then put them in our mouth. Did you smell? Have you smelled them? Take a whiff. Hold on a second. They look just like your typical Dots homestyle pretzel. It's the pretzel braids uh, with a dusty coating. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, what are you doing? I'm showing for the camera oh, because I, this is going to be on YouTube later. You have to like <laughs> look at the pretzel twist. I mean, there is footage of you huffing the bag, but that doesn't quite that doesn't really do, <laughs> it. do it. All right. So it looks like a regular dot pretzel. It's a, a, a pretzel, pretzel rod twist. It has honey mustard flakes on it. I can bear, I can kind of smell faint mustard on here. Yeah. You know can't, how it said can't. subtle tang? I just, I also <laughs> think this is just, this is the subtle this is tang. tang. I don't know about that descriptor, but. All right. Put it in my mouth. All right. It is a subtle thing. Mm. Now, it is described, and I want to tell. I want you to tell me the flavor profile in your mouth. But I will tell you, it's described as a honey wheat pretzel, which I do believe would be different than the regular. That is accurate because the pretzel is sweet. So when you put this pretzel in your mouth, my experience of this is that you get the mustard first. Which is okay. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of mustard. Yeah. And it was like, all right, I'm fine with this. But as you keep chewing, the honey oat mm. aspect of the pretzel becomes more of the mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. And it leaves you with a sweet aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It definitely has a definitive blast of mustard. Yes. Mustard blast is the first thing that hits you. 
It's not a new flavor of Mountain Dew. No, Mustard <laughs> Blast. <laughs> and then it is followed by a uh, sweet, crunchy. And then there's a back. There's a like a cloyingly sweet back end. Mm -hmm. Right? Like it sits in the back of your mouth in the upper back area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Backdoor just, sweetness. Backdoor sweetness. Thank you. <laughs> that that um, I could see how you you would get addicted to just piling these in your mouth. Yeah, because after the first one, you're like, okay, I could just eat these and eat these and eat these. Well, we got to rate these dots pretzels. Okay. So how many Cobras are we giving for Cheat Day Friday? Oof, this is a dots, hard one. Pretzels, hard one. Hard one. Honey mustard. I'm going to say this is a four because I would eat a bag of these. I probably wouldn't buy the bag, but I would eat them. I'm going to give it a three okay? because I'm not going to finish these. It's a little too mustard forward, okay. but I understand if you like honey mustard, you're going to like these Dots pretzels. All right. Dots home style pretzels between a three and a four experience. Thank you, Panda. Yay!